everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be planning out my week for oh my gosh what week is it october 19th to the 25th i haven't done a plan with me video and my passion planner in a while i actually haven't planned in this it's been a while it's been off and on um the last time i planned here was the last week of september it looks like or the beginning of october so what i'm going to do is probably follow something like this because this looks really nice and neat i'm not going to do any stickers or anything like that I also like how I broke down this section down here between home, money, my son, and content because that's pretty much really what I have going on. I do have my passion planner daily here where I wrote out some of the things to do for this upcoming week. So that's what I'm going to be referring to as I plan for the week. And of course, since this planner is undated, the first thing I am doing is just filling in all of the dates. Thankfully, I do have a calendar right in front of me. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe I might fill out the wrong day because I can hardly keep track of my days, weeks. I honestly feel it feels like October just started and we're already right in the middle of it and it's almost November. So um, time is just flying by. Anyway, so moving on to my time blocks. The main three things that I'm going to be really time blocking or big chunks of time blocks here is there's going to be three things. So from six to seven is my me time my morning routine or ideally my morning routine and from 9 to about I would say 2 15 or 2 30 um, I think on there I went a little crazy and went till 3 um, that is for my son's distance learning block and then I have another block from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. pretty much whenever the kiddos are in bed that is the time that I use to do more of my content stuff, my YouTube videos, planning out Instagram posts and stuff for the next day. I've kind of been falling behind on some of the content things and I just, last week I decided to plan it all out and this week I am trying to focus on working on my nighttime routine to ensure that my morning routine goes smoothly because I just feel like my morning routine falls apart if my nighttime doesn't go as planned, meaning I end up watching way too many episodes of something and before I know it, it's like two o'clock in the morning and no, I will not be getting up at 6 a.m. at that point. But anyways, um, I'm, I'm working on it this week, so we'll see how it goes. The other times that I'm blocking off within my son's distance learning time block are the times that he meets up with his class. So every single day he meets up with his class from 9 9 to like 9.45, sometimes they go on until about 10 o'clock. And then they also do have a math meet every day except for Wednesday. And that's from 1.30 to 2.15, sometimes till 2.30. And then he does have a reading group Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, it's just for half an hour from 11.30 to 12. And those are pretty much the only times they meet. And also they do have, I always tend to forget this because it's a different Zoom link from their meeting they do have assemblies on wednesday mornings and it's happened to us a couple of times where we clicked on the wrong meeting link and we were trying to we're logging into our regular morning meet and not the assembly meet and before you know it we actually missed out on the whole assembly so not a big deal but we do like to um see our principal and vice principal and all the admin and stuff so um, I do like to see their assemblies. My second grader is actually pretty good at setting up on his own. They actually do morning check-ins as well. So before they meet in a morning meet, they have like an attendance check and they also have like a question of the day. He pretty much does that on his own. I think his motivation for that is he actually does it really early. It's because he knows that I let him and his brother play downstairs before he starts his meeting. So what he'll do is right at 8 o'clock or after breakfast, he wants to already get dressed, check in, get his Zoom link meeting ready, and then he's already bugging me to go downstairs and I'm not even, I haven't even gotten his brother changed yet. So that's pretty much our morning routine. It's breakfast, check in, go downstairs and play. It's usually for about 30, 45 minutes depending on what time they finish breakfast. So that's pretty much our morning routine. One of the things that I'm looking forward to this week is our school's annual virtual, or not virtual, is our school's annual Skechers Walk. It's usually not virtual. This is the first year, of course, due to COVID. Uh, we are still participating in it, and we still do plan to walk around. Not sure if we're going to do the whole 
3K or 3.5K walk, but we'll see how far we get around the neighborhood. It's just so fun to be part of that, and usually when we walk or when we do it for, with the school, it's at the beach, so that's what I'm going to be really missing. Maybe we'll go to the beach and walk, maybe. We'll see, depending on how crowded it is. So we'll see about that. Um, so here I'm just writing down our morning routine. I, for some reason, for this week, wanted to write it all down. I haven't, like I said, planned in my weekly in a while. So I pretty much just wrote a lot of the things that we already do down on paper. Um, and here in the afternoon as well, we do play outside. Thankfully for us, it's we're in Southern California. It's somewhat cooling down a little bit. Usually around 3.30 now, the sun isn't in our little play area downstairs. We do live in an apartment. There's just four little units across from us and in our own building as well. So I still feel like we kind of have a private little play area. I don't know, but just thankful for the space that my kids can play in. Um, and there I just wrote down that my reminder for this week is to make sure to focus on my nighttime routine so that the morning goes smoothly. And then here at the very bottom, I am using it to section off couple different areas. Um, so a to-do list for home, money, which is basically all the budgeting stuff that I, I do, and then a section for my son, Nathan. And then I also on the right side have a checklist for content related things. The only thing content wise that I have is YouTube and Instagram. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I have thought about starting a blog that's more geared towards finances. I just... I can't make up my mind. It's something that I've been thinking about the last two years. I think since I started YouTube, I actually debated on whether or not I should do YouTube or do the blog. So I decided to stick with YouTube. Um, we'll see about the blog though. And then I didn't have any habit trackers. And I didn't want to print any out. So I decided to make one. Thankfully, there are a lot of inspiration with within the planner community on Instagram because I did get that idea from there's a, several people that do habit trackers like that where they just write it out and then um, use a highlighter to or I didn't even highlight it yet but I will highlight it later you guys will see um, and then here on this side I am just using this section the space of infinite possibility for writing out the meals for this week lately I have been um, every Saturday I put us down for takeout and we do have our food budget set for the next two weeks at $240. I already have it figured out to where um, we can get takeout twice, depending on where we get takeout from. And moving on to my favorite part, which is highlighting. I don't know if I featured the Passion Planner highlighters on here just yet, but I am using the Passion Planner highlighters, which they so kindly, Passion Planners did send it to me, I think a couple months ago, in the summer maybe. Um, I did show it off on Instagram, I just not here yet. And I do love to highlight, not only does it make your planner go from really boring to just super colorful, um, I do like the color coding. I didn't do a lot of the color coding this time around, but I do know that I like to use purple for myself and blue for the boys. And other than that, that's pretty much it for the color codes here on my planner. And there goes all those dots that I mentioned earlier. And then what I'll do is just check it off. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this type of plan with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Bye.